Well, it's time for a new video. Welcome! And today I'm at my favorite beach. I've recorded so many videos here. And I'm here to do some cloud spotting. But first, I want to share with you an early morning before work. Uh, there was really, really moody conditions with mists and fog and uh, I did a short photo shoot before work. So at first I'm gonna share those video clips and a photo with you. cloud spotting <laughs> but there aren't many clouds over the sea right now it seems like the, the coastline is acting like a barrier for the clouds as soon as they approach us they vanish into thin air so I'm standing here waiting observing the clouds there are actually some really impressive clouds drifting out to sea because some of them are actually making it out to sea so hopefully I can get some photos of them I'm, I'm looking for minimalistic shots and maybe in black and white as well so let's Get the camera ready and get it up on the tripod. It's quite a lot of wind today. So today I'm using a sturdier tripod. I don't have my travel tri tripod that I usually have. And I use that just to save some weight. But today it's windy, so I've got my sturdy tripod. And if you're a frequent watcher of my channel, you know that I'm a Nikon shooter. So I'm gonna use my Nikon Z7 and I'm gonna start with a 70 to 200 zoom lens. All right, let's get it up on tripod. And now we wait. As I mentioned, there aren't many clouds out there and the ones that are out there aren't looking that good so I have to wait and I mean it's just so nice to be out there listen to the waves looking at the birds flying over the sea there's actually a sailboat coming my way so even though I risk not getting any photos at all it's really nice to be out there or you never know I'm still feeling quite positive ah, let's get a shot of that sailboat I wish I had more dramatic clouds. So I'm not really sure if this worked, but I think I got at least one photo. <laughs> so I will put it up on screen for you. I'm a very lazy photographer today. I haven't moved from this spot for a couple of hours. Just been standing here looking at the clouds drifting out to sea. It's a very meditative state of mind. Really nice. So right now there are actually some really nice clouds out there. So I'm gonna take a shot. Uh, 70 millimeters. 
400 of a second, ISO 64. And I'm gonna try and have some waves in the foreground, so I might have to fire off a few shots. Ah, this might actually work, really minimalistic. And uh, I'm shooting in black and white. I've changed the color profile to black and white so I can see the photos in black and white through the viewfinder. Really, really nice. Ah, hopefully I will get some shots here. So that is probably all the action that I'm gonna see here today. So it's always a bit of a gamble when it comes to clouds. I mean, I can't control nature, but I'm, I'm happy with this day. So I'm gonna call it a day and get some sleep. I'm gonna sleep in my car just a few hundred meters away from here. And hopefully I have some energy left for tomorrow morning. Get up maybe three or four in the morning. I'm not making any promises, but I'm gonna try it. So yeah. See you tomorrow morning. Well, it's not four in the morning, that's for sure. <laughs> it's so cozy to sleep in the car, so I couldn't make it. I couldn't get up. So instead, it's like eight in the morning and uh, I'm gonna visit a nature preserve here, just next to the sea. I've been here once before, uh, many years ago, so it's Kind of interesting, might find something to photograph. So I hope you still tag along and let's go and see what we can find. The variation in nature is really astonishing on this short walk. It's no more than 600 meters from the car down to the sea. And uh, yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> and I can see the sea just up ahead, so let's keep going. Wow, it's extremely beautiful here. Much more beautiful than I remember it. But as far as photography goes, it's kind of hard to see something to photograph. So I'm gonna have to sit down and uh, contemplate on this. So hopefully I will find something here. Ah, oh, it's so nice to be outdoors. Just to sit there and look out of the, over the open horizon is so nice. And looking through the viewfinder of my camera, 
I actually found a decent composition. So, mm, yeah, let's get the camera up on the tripod. I'm not really sure how the final image is going to look like. So I'm trying two different uh, focal lengths, 135 millimeters and 70 millimeters. And at 70 millimeters, I get some foreground and 135 millimeters is much more zoomed in. And I'm not really sure about the surface of the water. It's a little bit messy. So yeah, let's get the first two shots. Two second self timer. And let's zoom in. That's the second composition. And let's preview. Yeah. It's as I thought. I don't really like the textures of the water. So I'm gonna put on a, <laughs> a 10 stop end fil ender filter and slow down the exposure to maybe 8 or 10 seconds and see if that calms down this, uh, the scene and makes it more minimalistic. If you watched my most previous video, you might recall that I used a 10 stop ender filter on my 24 to 70 zoom lens. And that lens has a 82 millimeter filter thread, and this 70 to 200 zoom lens has a 77 millimeter filter thread. And I'm not gonna buy a 10 stop ender filter for every filter thread that I have, so I'm using step up rings. So this is from 77 to 82. Get this on first, like so, and then the 10 stop ender filter. And this is a real money saver. So let's try these two compositions once more, this time with the 10 stop ender filter, 8 second exposure. And hopefully, this is gonna make the, the scene a lot more calmer, more minimalistic, and more pleasing to look at. That's the first shot, and let's zoom in, take the second one, and I'm a little bit worried about this negative space, the water, it might fill up too much of the, the frame, so let's see how this looks. That's the zoomed in one, oh, that's really nice actually, and the one with foreground. Uh, I'm gonna take one more shot. It actually looks really nice with the surface of the water, but I want the foreground to be somewhat more dominant. So I'm going to lower the tripod and get one final image. Let's lower the tripod as far as it goes. Let's see if this looks better. It actually does. <laughs> nice, okay. One final image, eight second exposure. Okay, preview. Yeah, I think I got what I want. <laughs> and I will put up those final images on the screen for you. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I love to experiment with compositions and different filters and so on. So I had a lot of fun today. And this is actually the end of the video. So I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.